Break down the specifics, educate, motivate. If you don't feel free, you can liberate. An LLC is what I'm building, the number one podcast in the building. So let me slide on up in the Bentley truck in my Versace shirts. They can't get enough of this deep conversation, expansion, elevation. I'll send you a link you can tap in. It ain't quite what I used to do back then. Now I get it on the front and the back end. Multiple money streams keep coming in. Enlighten, empower. Greetings, everyone. I'm Luke Brian Smith, and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved. I believe everyone's doing well, and everything is unfolding perfectly. I'm excited yet again today because you know why I'm excited, and I always say this, because I enjoy, thoroughly enjoy uh, engaging in wonderful, beautiful dialogues with people from around the world, and today is no exception. I have an amazing guest all the way from Scotland, <laughs> beautiful Megan Connolly, I got it right, yeah. And before she tells you anything about her, I'm gonna tell you a bit about her. So listen up, you don't wanna miss any of this. So Megan, she's an entrepreneur, a single mom of three, beautiful children. Her ultimate goal is to become completely independent of the system and in doing so, helping millions across the globe to do the same. She is part of an incredible community of people who has helped her change her children and her lives exponentially in a very short period of time. She has went from having literally pennies in the bank, struggling and begging and suicidal, wow, and self-harming to become free in every area of her life. She says, I am the strongest I've ever been mentally, physically and spiritually, and now. She says, I am paying the knowledge, skills, and awareness she has acquired forward to the world. That's amazing and very powerful. How are you today, Megan? Hi, I'm amazing. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fabulous. And I'm just so excited to have you here today. Um, you know, prior I'm to the segment. To be here. <laughs> yes, prior to the segment, you know, we we had a, a few scheduling changes, but I, I'm a firm believer. <laughs> And everything works out for our highest good and it unfolds perfectly. So I never get frustrated about any of that because I know it all works out. Bring on the adversity. <laughs> That's right. Right. I, I really um, was uh, resonate with your philosophies. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to watch a few of your live videos on your Facebook and you just have an amazing presence about yourself. Um, and and I, it just led me to want to invite you onto this platform and to share with with people your amazing energy and some of your insights um, in regards to your life and whatever you have that um, resonates with you to share with us. So let's just get right into it. So your ultimate goal is to become completely independent of the system and in doing so help millions across the globe. Elaborate on that a bit. Now, I know exactly what you're talking about. I think I do. <laughs> But elaborate on that, because I believe I'm working on the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So obviously I am part of an amazing community where we're not only raising people's awareness and the frequency that they're on, but we're also giving them the, the option to have multiple streams of income online. So we show them how they can generate six and seven figure in incomes from each income stream that cannot be touched that cannot be in any sort of way kind of messed about with the way that it is if you're linked to certain systems and all that sort of thing where people have much more control over people's money and their lives. So my, what we do, like I say, is we spread awareness. We spread the awareness, not so much about that as such, but we need to raise the frequency and the vibration of everyone around the world because we're in dark times and 
I want to be the light. I want to be the vision. I want to be the vision for anyone that they can do and be whatever they want to be. Because there was a point where I thought that I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And now I know that I can. Wow. I think that is absolutely amazing. Just that um, short uh, 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 segment that you just, it, it, a lot of powerful uh, uh, nuggets of wisdom was in what you just said, because I resonate with that. Uh, to be independent, to be in more uh, control of your circumstances, of your finances, without yeah. <laughs> it being affected by the economy or other people, or you know, having more control over uh, over your own circumstances. And I think that's something that many of us, if not all, can resonate with. Who doesn't want to be um, have more control over their own, uh, exactly. especially <laughs> finances? And for you to for that to be your goal, that is that is amazing. Yes. So um, the community of people that you're working with, how did you connect with these people? I mean, is it just from, is it family? Is it friends? Or is it just, you know, you just met people over the years? I mean, specifically, I mean, what happened? Well, I call them my family now because I, in my entire life, I've never felt at home anywhere. I've generally felt like my entire life that I didn't belong here. Um, a lot of that was to do with a lot of the trauma that I have been through like my entire life, pretty much. Um, and I genuinely felt like, what 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 am I here for? You know? Um, and then cut a very long story short, I really dived into personal development um back in 2017. Right. And I had a really traumatic experience at that point. Um, and anyway, cut a long story short, I was homeless. I had, I was pregnant with my second, my youngest daughter. And I knew that at that point I had to make a change. I had to do something because I couldn't remain where I was. Like, obviously, like I say, I was, I was suicidal. I had been self-harming and I just, I was not in a good mental space at all. So I literally locked myself away for the entirety of my pregnancy, studying, reading, watching, just listening, um, taking it all in so that I could bring back who I needed. Uh, who I wanted to be who I needed when I was five. Right, and right. I wanted to be who I needed when I was a wee girl. So anyway, I ended up in a position where a friend had was doing kind of self-belief booster events, but virtually for obviously during lockdowns and all that to bring people's spirits up and all that sort of thing. Right. And he asked if I wanted to come on and, and share a wee bit of my story. And it was the first time I had ever done so. And I was absolutely terrified. I almost didn't do it because I was opening the call as well. Um, and I was, I was petrified, but I thought there's something, there's something I'm supposed to do this. Um, so I did. And I ended up meeting my mentor he reached out to me. He was also talking on the call. He, I was opening and he was closing it. So he ended up reaching out to me because he was so inspired by my story. And and yeah, it's all just kind of went from there for what, how drastically my life has changed in that period of time. It's it's insane. <laughs> wow, you know, you said a, a a lot of a lot of powerful things again, yet again. I mean, and that's how you can just tell it's authentic. The um where you're coming from and your your purpose. Because when people go through things, um, I'm a firm believer that if you go through things and you're able to do like you did and kind of stand back and be the observer and, and, and then come to a point where you are talking to yourself saying, no, this is not it, this is not it. And you're able to start. I think the the universe, God, whatever, you, you provides these, these ways out, you know, for yes. you to, you know, and exactly. it leads you. And you said something powerful too. You said becoming the person who you needed. That yeah. is a very powerful statement. And I'm going to remember that, <laughs> you know, becoming the person that I actually needed back then. So you can become that person for somebody else, you know? So that's, nice. that's totally amazing. And I just never um, uh, become weary of or, or tired um, of hearing amazing uh stories no matter you know how um sad they may seem and desperate they may seem at the time but just to to watch and listen to people talk about how they emerged out of these um 
these dire circumstances and just growing and becoming, you know, who they are even right now and still evolving. That's just amazing. I'll never get tired of hearing that because that, that in itself is very um, inspirational and motivational to just, I think everyone that, that hears your story, it, even though you just share just a little segment, very inspirational, very motivational. I appreciate yeah, I mean, it. I am. Um, I feel like w w when you're wanting to help so many people around the world, you need to be able to relate to them in certain ways. And for me, obviously, I've been in really deep depression, and I, and I have been at that point where I've been on my me back, too. like, yeah. So when, when and you'll agree with this. So right. when I am on, when I was on my back, looking up, thinking the, the universe was literally like Megan. It is time to you for you to get up. Like this is that. This is your moment get yes. get up right. so I lifted myself up and I got out and literally I've done everything by on my own um, like I'm a one man band I always pretty much have been um, and you know now I am able to relate to people so obviously I've not been through what some people have been through and other people haven't been through but I've been through so you can't you can't be I know how you feel but you can understand because you have been at rock bottom. You have been like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to turn. I don't know who to, to go to. I don't know where to start. I literally feel like I don't need, I don't want to be here. And it doesn't matter what brought you to that point. If you have felt like that, you can relate to that person. Right. Because you understand that power of being at the bottom. But then now I am also the vision because I now, I'm not at the top. I'm not where I want to be yet. But right, I am right. a lot higher than I was, a lot right. higher. And I, at one point, never thought I could ever, ever do that. So it's powerful to be able to relate that to people. Wow, that's again that like that. That's absolutely extraordinary. Um, and I believe you know if you really look at it, uh, especially um, as you go through life, you'll ex you'll you'll see a similar story that I think um, it might not be the exact same story exact same things that you've been through but you'll see there's a there's a flow in life um that we all go through things and it's it's really it's not meant to tear us down no matter how uh bad it looks at that time but it's meant to build us into extraordinary people and to build character and to make us stronger now at the same time i always i always express um to everyone that i don't I, it's i don't wish uh or um my intentions aren't for to wish anybody to go through anything, you know, but I know now that when, even when I have friends that are going through things, I'm able to come from a, a place where I say, you're going to come out a better person. You might not see it now. It's hard right now. I know it is, but keep, yeah. don't give up. Look at all the perspectives. Look at, look for information of other people that have that are going through or have been through what you've been through. And, you know, I'll be of help any way I can. I'll help you. I uh, suggest books to them, help them, you know, in any way I can, you know, sometimes it's financially a little bit and whatever, but we're meant to pull ourselves up. Like you said, now you mentioned that we're not meant to just lean on people. Well, sometimes we can lean on someone for a short amount of time. You know, sometimes we all need a little help, but we're meant to really build our own mental, spiritual, as well as physical muscles so that we can handle things ourselves and become stronger and better. And, you know, and it seems like as what I'm reading from you, that's exactly what you're doing. So that's, a, that's, I commend you for that. Yeah, Just I not mean, giving you, up. Yeah. I mean, if you want, if you want to be a vision for people, you need to literally be the vision Whatever it is that you want for others, you have to be. So obviously, look, for me, since August, I have lost four and a half stone in weight. Um, uh, I, I have, what is that in pounds? Excuse me. So that's in uh, Scotland. You guys say stones. Four so and a half stone. Is four. that four and a half pound? No, four and a half stone. So that's like 14 times four plus seven. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's a lot more than just four pounds. Yes, uh, yeah, a lot more. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Was, I'm gonna yeah, look was, that up. A after this show. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up. You know, I, I love learning. So stones, yeah, stones, well, pound, the, yeah, yeah. My before and after is on my social media. You will be able to see it. It's insane the the difference. But 
like from being in that position like I have literally like everything in my life I have done the hard way or I, I have it's been thrust upon me to do it the hard way because of whatever situation because obviously we are so powerful like what we choose to do and what the words we speak everything we're so so powerful but obviously there are always always outside factors that can affect us and what we do and, and and obviously it drains our energy and you you know you end up with depression and anxiety and things like that so like you know I've always ended up I've had to start from down here with right. everything like my weight I had to be really really overweight to know what it was like to lose weight and feel better and like exactly. I had to be really really depressed to find out what it was like to be really really happy and like, you know, it's like the dark and the light and the rain with the rainbow. You can't have a rainbow without the rain. Like, it, you need to always... Adversity, I, I actually bring adversity on. I'm like, you know what? Give it to me because I don't ask for less stress. I ask to be a better, stronger person so that right. I can deal with the adversity, whatever it may be, because we're all going to face it at one point or another. It's inevitable. Oh, that's amazing. That's very powerful what you just said. Um, yes, you're not asking for things to just be easy. You're asking for the strength to to overcome and the wisdom to uh, navigate and learn from them. That is exact, yeah. that is exactly right. In, in my perspective, is that yes, um, yes, we want the we, we really. I mean, it feels like that we want things to just be easy, but that's not where growth is. You know, that's not <laughs> where. Um, you grow and you expand and you evolve from if everything's easy you won't have any contrast like you said the the mm. the sadness the happiness if if everything is just so easy in one way and believe it or not it will be boring if it's all like that and some people say well I want boring because then there's nothing unpredictable well you're not going to grow from that you're not going to be um ha uh grow in wisdom and if everything is just this one way and like you said Things that you've been through in life uh, forced you to grow and wake up and get and pull yourself up. So that's while you're you are becoming who you are becoming today. And it is amazing when you look back and and think, "Wow, I'm not where I um at my final destination yet, but I am a yep. lot further and a lot better and a lot more uh, wisdom." than I used to be. Wow. So that tells you you're heading in the right direction. Plus you're attracting, you know, um, people that are assisting in your journey along the way, you know, like you were meant to do this. And I'm sure, you know, you were meant to do this podcast. You know, I'm, I'm part of the, your journey, even if it's just for a second, you know, part of your journey is you're growing. We're, we're, uh, um, engaging in, you know, a conversation that we both um, are um, affirming and uh, uh, an affirming conversation, solution based, just healthy for our minds, engaging in, in a conversation that's healthy for our spirit yeah. and bringing value to one another, bringing that's value always. to one another. There you go. Sharpening yeah. steel, sharpening yeah. steel from different yeah. perspectives. And it's just so amazing. I have to I have to um, take this time to say it's just so amazing again. And I've said this before, but I am so thankful for um, technology. You know, a lot of people will name the negative aspects of technology and say, "Oh, it's because of this, this, this." But I try to look at the uh, the the uh, be be um, optimistic and look at the the good sides of it. Because of this technology, your way in Scotland, I'm here in the U.S. and California, and we're able to talk to each other as if we're right next to each yeah. other and see and hear each other. I think that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I totally agree. And, you know, it's funny because I've, I've been doing a program recently, right, and learning a lot more about, like, vibrations and frequencies and all that. And right. people don't understand how powerful we are. Like, right. the frequency that we have, we can generate it across the universe pretty much. Right. And if, if it is utilised and, and, and built up to the, the strength that it's able to do that, because... We are programmed so much to believe that we need to believe certain things. We need to do certain things, do things in a certain way. Whereas right. you don't have to do that. Right. You don't right. have to do that. And they're hiding what we can do. Right. What we're capable of. That's that's amazing. And what you just said about the frequency, it's like 
whatever it is, and I firmly believe it, and I can say it, whatever frequency that you put out, we are all receivers as well. So I received that frequency and it led me to reach out to you. So yeah. if you were on a lower frequency or even a higher, I wouldn't have picked it up. So I picked up your your frequency and it said, hey, reach out to her, get her on your show. Yeah. So you, yeah. I got it. <laughs> I know, you like I reached the... out to one of my my friends in Australia that I hadn't spoken to in a, a, a couple of months. Right. And she was like, I was just thinking about you this morning. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like it's powerful. It it's powerful. It is powerful. And excuse me for looking down, but it was because I just wa I just um watched this segment on exactly what you're talking about, the frequencies and the vibrations that we give off. I just uh, viewed it on YouTube a couple of days ago and I'm going right now to uh, messenger and I'm, I'm sending you that link right now so you can watch it. It's going to be Thank a little you. bit more insight on what you were just talking about right now. It's amazing. Watch when you listen to it, send yes. me a message back. Tell me how you liked it. You can I share will. it with us. I, will. You Thank like you. It, I know you're going to like it. <laughs> and when you do share it with other people too, it's, it's very, it's wow. It's very powerful. Amazing. Of course. So uh, while I have you here, uh, Megan, um, I'm going to put any links that you uh, shared with me. I'm going to incorporate it in the description of this video once I upload it to the platforms. But while you while you're here and I have you live for the, the people that can only hear this on the audible pr uh, platforms, um, how can people find you, your organization, or any any links that you would like to share, a website, whatever? Yeah, of course. So you can reach me. Um, my best ones are probably social media. So you have Instagram, which is at I am Megan Official. And remember, Megan has two ends at the end, so make sure and put that in. Uh, email is I am Megan Official at iCloud.com and my Facebook is Megan.Connolly.92, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. So you make sure that I'll make sure that you sent me. I'm not sure if you sent me all those links, but if not, I'll reach out to you and get those links from you. I think I do have them though. And I'll make sure they're incorporated in the description of this video. And it's amazing. Before we conclude this segment, are there any last, uh, um, ideas that that you would like to share i think just the what the most powerful thing that i've been um focusing on is 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 letting people be them like you have to be you if you want to be free you have to be you like right. no one in the world is as you no one can bring what you can bring to the world yes we all may be relatable and we are all infinite beings having a temporary human experience like you are infinite you are capable of so much more than you could ever imagine so go out there and and, and find yourself the environment and the people that you need to surround yourself with if you want to be someone someone in particular something in particular you have to find people who have succeeded already in that or are well on their way to doing that so that you can learn and get coached and mentored off of them. Because if they can do it, you can do it as long as you listen and you're coachable. That is absolutely amazing. And I totally agree and resonate with that. You want to keep, uh, you want to watch um, the people, the information, um, the energies that you put around yourself, yes. that you listen yes. to and, you know, speak with those people that are going to help you. Now you can learn, I'm a firm believer, you can learn from anything, but at the same time, yeah, but at the same time, you can learn from anything or anyone, but at the same time, you want to cultivate. And if you're heading in a certain direction, um, that's what you want to put around you. You know, you want to put healthy. Um, it's almost like uh, your diet. If you really want to be in good health, I mean, I have to say it, you have to eat good, healthy food. If not, yeah. you're not going to feel good. You're going to be overweight. Um, you're going to have medical problems. Uh, so, and I'm guilty of all of that. So I'm not uh, pointing a finger or calling anyone out because I'm sure we we all have our uh, our struggles, whether it be, you know, whatever, substance yeah. or foods or whatever, or just engaging in 
lower vibrational conversations or whatever. So, but as long as we're aware, that's the start. And then that's the start of change. Awareness. Yeah. Awareness, yes. awareness, definitely. There's a story I'd like to share, right? That there's a man walks up to a homeless man, right? I don't know if you've heard this story. No. And no, so he walks up to the homeless man and he says, Why are you, what happened? How did you end up homeless? And he said, Because my dad was a drunk. I followed in his footsteps, I lost everything, and I'm now homeless and I have no idea how I'm gonna get through the rest of my life. So then he walks up to a billionaire and he says, how did you become a billionaire? And he said, because my dad was a drunk. He inspired me and motivated me to be a better man, to have more in life, to teach my children better, to be a better person, a better man, to be a better husband, father. And I am now where I am on a higher level with a higher frequency. And it's all because my dad was a drunk. So you can have two people with the exact same thing and they go two different ways. Why is that? Awareness. Right. Surrounding and yourself with the right people. And, and, so, and that you just um, affirm that it's all in, the, all in the mindset and the way you look at things. You either can look at something and have it suck you into it, being the same way, even if it's unhealthy, or you can look at it and, and analyze it and realize it was it was unhealthy and be the total total opposite. So I yeah. I appreciate you sharing that powerful uh story right there because that's that's what it is. It's all about perspective. You can you know you can let something destroy you or you can let something make you aware and help you become stronger. Yeah, and we don't like, see what yeah we don't yeah. see with our eyes. We see through our eyes with our mind's perception. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Well, I appreciate you very much, Megan. Again, I want to thank you for spending um, some of your time because I'm a firm believer that time is one of our greatest uh, assets. And for you to choose to spend just even a moment of your time here, um, I just have to extend my sincerest gratitude to you. Thank you very much. Your um, your your energy, your your insight. Um, testimonies have been well appreciated and I'm sure by everyone that's watching and or listening. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm very, very grateful that our paths have crossed and I'm very, very privileged to be here. So thank you so much. Yes. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want to be on the Enlightened Empowered Evolve podcast, you can email me at 333empower at gmail.com and leave me a message let me know. Also hit the like button, subscribe on whatever platform you're listening and or watching this on. I appreciate it. Enlightened Empowered Evolve, sending you love and appreciation. See you soon.